Hey guys, MSG Retired here. I figured it was time to bring you a little bit of stolen valor. Out of Florida, yet again. Uh, what can I say? But coffeeordie.com has a lot of this stuff on there. They, they do uh, some great work. By all means, uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company, go to their website. Uh, it's a bunch of veterans. Always got some great content on their website, and I'm just going to highlight this one. I'm going to go right to their uh, to their web page. So this gentleman, and I say gentleman when I actually don't mean gentleman. Florida veteran who faked blindness. He's going behind bars, baby. So just when you think they don't get uh, prosecuted, this gentleman is getting smoked. Barry Wayne Hoover, 51, to repay $429,568.09 in restitution. Nice. And he's got until July 1 to surrender to federal authorities. So uh, they found this guy guilty of stealing public money and giving false statements to VA officials. Um... He uh, supposedly is blind. Here he is uh, scuba diving or snorkeling. Uh, he was medically discharged from the Navy with retinitis pigmentosa. It's a degenerative optical malady, and he received a 20% disability rating by the VA in 97. Um Let's see what else they say. He claimed his condition had worsened in 2010 to the point he couldn't drive, perform household chores, shop, and enjoy sports and recreation. So they hiked him to 70%, and then two years later, it raised to 100% because he claimed he couldn't work because of the blindness. So, you know, I'm not saying there's dishonest veterans out there, but there's dishonest veterans out there. And if somebody's capable of, uh, you know, working a full-time job, yeah, probably shouldn't be getting 100% disability from the VA. Anyway, 2017, uh, the VA received a tip that he had exaggerated his blindness, and they kicked off a probe. Uh, let's see what they found. Oh, looky here. Can't drive, but he can ride an ATV. Hmm, and I think you need a little more acuity to ride an ATV than you do to drive a car. Because it looks like he's maybe in a sand dune and there's some woods trails and yeah. Uh, let's see, November 27th, 2020, a doctor, uh, chief of ophthalmology at the Veterans Hospital reviewed the VA's file and wrote... His final, his visual field defects are not consistent with the highly functional activities he was captured doing on video. Ah. Coffee or Die magazine, those guys are great. They did some interviews on this and uh, got to the bottom of it. Here he is out hunting. You know, if the guy's blind, I don't know if I want to be hunting with him. Uh, I figured that deer would have been safe. Guess not. This is just this, this is just one of them, and this is happening everywhere. As a matter of fact, their next uh, their next article: a veteran cheated the VA by using a cane and a diaper as props when he lied about combat PTSD. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. You just can't make it up. So, he gets his VA claim bumped up to 100%, can't work, but he's out there riding around on an ATV, snorkeling, uh, hunting, things that need some, some sort of visual acuity so you don't crash into a tree and kill yourself, or you don't shoot the guy you went hunting with because you thought it was a deer. You, uh, you just can't make this crap up. I'm serious. And, you know, abuse and fraud within the VA, it's a government agency, 
and there's going to be a ton of it. Uh, remember what everybody used to say about the $800 toilet seat, uh, you know, on the airplanes and stuff. Everybody's trying to make a buck on the government. And uh, evidently, it's not going to work out too good for this gentleman. He's going to end up paying back a big chunk of money. And he's doing 27 months behind bars. He's got to uh, got to surrender himself by 1 July. So anyway, just when you think stolen valor doesn't get prosecuted, here's a perfect example. Um, on another note, guys, I started a new membership program on my website or on my YouTube channel. If you click the join, it's a buck ninety nine a month. You'll be able to follow along on my motorcycle track days and road racing as I pick that hobby back up and go through all the steps, everything I need to do, uh, including my race bike, my gear. There's going to be a lot of content on all of that. I would really appreciate it uh, if you join and support. Uh, support me going forward in my uh, my craziness. So, there you go. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up. Helps the algorithm. If you're out there riding on twos, make sure you keep that shiny side up, rubber side down, and as always, have yourself a great day.